Hi guys, welcome back to this Old Southern Kitchen and Garden. Tonight what I wanted to do is Dale's at work and I was just cleaning up in the kitchen and I really don't feel like doing a lot of dishes tonight. So I'm gonna make a one pot meal that can feed your entire family. And it's really quick and easy to do. It's one pot, a lid, and an oven and you're done. Your entire meal will be ready. So what I have here is we went to the store and these pork chops are on sale for $1.50 a piece which is outrageous at this day and age. So what I've done is just seasoned it basically with salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Everything we season, basically the same thing we season most of our meats with in our meals. And what I have in here is four tablespoons of butter that I'm just heating up. Now what this meal will actually be is a rice with beef broth, fresh vegetables, and a few seasonings. And then you put the pork chops on top and you bake it all so that the juices from the pork chop go into the actual rice to just add a lot more flavor. Now, the reason I have the thick pork chops as opposed to a thinner pork chop is when you're baking rice, it does take a little bit longer than the usual 20 minutes that it'll take in a pot. It's gonna take more along the lines of 40 to 45 minutes and a small pork chop would just be way overcooked in that amount of time. So we do have our thick pork chops and as you can hear, our butter is ready. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take one cup of long grain rice and pour it into the four tablespoons of butter and we're just gonna let it toast lightly. This will actually start the rice cooking so that it will be cooked in that 45 minute time frame. This doesn't take long. You just want a basic cook on it. You can cook it till it's as toasty as you like. We're gonna just go with letting it heat up and you'll be able to tell they start to turn where rice is usually opaque. They get a little white color to them and that's just what I'm looking for. The more brown you let it go, the more nutty of a flavor you'll get. But I am add, adding beef stock and a few other ingredients to it, so I don't want it to cook really that much. So let's just let this cook down a little bit. Don't want to miss any rice. And while that is, we're going to just start seasoning this. It's never too soon to season. We do like red pepper flakes and everything, and I do want to add just a little bit of spice to it. And I'm gonna add our tried and trusted Tony's. If you live in the South, you know it pretty much goes in every meal. And you don't want to add too much of that because yeah, it is adding a lot of onions and garlics and actually a little Italian flavors in it, but it does have a high salt content. Then I'm gonna add just a little garlic powder and onion powder, which I like. It's gonna add the flavor of onions without really a lot of chunks in it. Oh, if you could smell this already, the rice is browning just a little bit and it's ready to go. So next, what we're gonna do is add, I just got some mixed veg, just cause I gotta have some kind of vegetable in the meal. We're gonna mix that in. And we're gonna pour in the two cups right here. I have beef broth, just cause I thought it would be a welcome change from the chicken broth that we usually use. And that is pretty much it. What we're gonna end up doing now is I'm gonna turn this off. Everything's hot and ready to go. Then you take your pork chops and just lay them on top of the liquid and they will be sticking out some. Now since this will be covered, I'm gonna put a cover on it and put it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. That should let the rice be totally cooked and the pork chops will be cooked through. And I'll show you what we're gonna do as soon as uh, the 45 minutes is up. It's been in the oven for 45 minutes and the pork is perfectly cooked and hot. 
And as you can see, the rice has just fluffed up and is perfect. Now, the only thing we're gonna do to finish this meal off is I'm gonna set the oven to broil because I wanna get some color on the actual pork chops themselves. And then we're gonna stick them under the broiler for right around five minutes uncovered. You just wanna watch it close because you don't want the rice to burn and you do not want your pork chops to burn. And there we have it, guys. Pork chops have a little color. They're cooked throughout. Rice is beautifully nice and fluffy. And everything was done in just one pot for easy cleanup. Great weeknight meal. So I hope you give this recipe a try. You could also do it with chicken breast. It would work really well. Let me know in the comments if you do try it. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you again next time.